All right, so we're starting to get into the fall season and we got to start getting our trays and pots ready. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to disinfect your seedling trays and your pots. And we're gonna start right now. What's going on YouTube gardeners? It's your boy, Sydney from the Naked Gardener channel. In this video, we're going to show you how to sterilize and disinfect your seedling trays and your pots for getting ready for the next uh, growing season. Now, the reason why you want to do this is for the simple fact that you might have uh, one of your containers that you grew something in might have some type of uh, disease or fungus eggs or anything of that nature. So what this would do is help disinfect and sterilize that so it don't carry on to the following season. So what we have is we're going to fill up this container. It's partially filled already, but we're going to fill this up with some water and then we're going to add some bleach into it. Now for the bleach, you want to use about a tablespoon per gallon. So since this is a 32 gallon, we're going to use a cup full of uh, uh, bleach, pour it in here, get that ready. Then we're going to use some um, environmental free uh, dish soap. That's uh, free and clear of any type of dye and chemicals. We're going to add that into here so that way, and we'll fill it up with some water, scrub out all the dirt and residue from the previous pots and trays. And then uh, once we get all the dirt and removed from there, we're going to dip it in here, let it soak in here for about five, 10 minutes, pull it out, and we'll let it air dry for another five to 10 uh, minutes from there. So let's get growing. start scrubbing out all the trays and the pots and everything we're going to start off with the trays we're going to see it kind of not sure if you can see this kind of filthy from when the dirt gets uh, down from through the trays and stuff these are the uh, bootstrap trays if you haven't uh, heard of these these are very uh, durable lasting trays they're not like the flimsy trays that you get from um, the big box stores, the jiffy ones, where this one, as you can see, is very strong compared to the ones you would get at the big box store. Where you can, you'll get probably a one, maybe two good seeds out of these if you're lucky. We don't use those anymore. We're not sponsored by Bootstrap, but we do like their their uh, products and everything so what we're going to do like i said we're going to scrub everything that's in here uh, dip it in this uh, sanitizing solution uh, where we have with bleach and let it sit in there for about five ten minutes and then we'll let it air dry rinse it off and let it air dry for another about five ten minutes
All right, so we have all our trays and pots uh, sitting out here to dry. We're gonna let these dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. And it's just that easy. Even though it is that easy, it's time consuming and a lot of work and it's hot out here in this uh, Texas heat. It's hotter than the devil's toenail, let me tell you. And I'm over here sweating like a pig. But, uh, well, I hope you like this video. If so, make sure you hit the like button. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We do like other videos like this. I'm gonna put a playlist right here. Uh, so that way you can check them out and I'll put a link right here of what YouTube will want you to look at until the next video Let's grow together